symbiosis biology teacher hello children welcome to symbiosis biology teacher in this video we are going to see ap and telangana state syllabus class 10 biology chapter 1 that is nutrition the food supplying system part 8 the subtopic that we discuss is structure of chloroplast in class 9 you have already studied about the chloroplasts let us see some more details about the chloroplast in this class that is class 10 chloroplasts are one of the cell organelles found in cells of autotrophs like algae and plants their primary function is to help in the process of photosynthesis they may be round or oval or filamentous or discoid shaped in different types of autotrophs if a plant cell is broken then the chloroplasts also break into pieces so it will be difficult to study the different steps involved in the process of photosynthesis but in 1954 a scientist named Daniel Israel Arnon broke the plant cell gently and was able to separate the chloroplast from it to study the process of photosynthesis now let us see the transfer section of chloroplast with the help of a diagram chloroplasts are membranous structures that is they are enclosed or covered by membranes each chloroplast consists of three membranes the first two membranes that is the outer membrane and the inner membrane covers or envelops the chloroplast whereas the third membrane forms stacked sac like structures called as grana grana is plural children and uh, its singular form is granum okay if it is one you call it as granum if there are many then you call it as grana okay each granum consists of many disc like structures called thylakoids these thylakoids are piled up one over the other they look like coins arranged one over the other children so each disc like structure you are calling it as thylakoid so all these thylakoids together piled up to form a bunch like structure and that you are calling it as granum okay like this there are nearly 10 to 100 bunch like structures in each chloroplast all these together you are calling it as grana okay children grana are interconnected by tube like structures called stroma lamellae the photochemical phase of photosynthesis that is the light dependent reactions occur in the membranes of grana that means this is the site of photochemical phase okay the space between the grana is filled with a colorless fluid called as stroma structures like grana stroma lamellae chloroplast dna ribosomes and substances like starch granules drops of lipid are suspended in the stroma the biosynthetic phase of photosynthesis that is the light independent reactions occur in the stroma stroma consists of enzymes that are responsible for the synthesis of glucose which later converts to starch there are many substances present in chloroplasts that capture sunlight and help in photosynthesis these substances are called photosynthetic pigments 
chlorophyll is one of the important pigment in plants that trap sunlight and help in photosynthesis process. Chlorophyll is mainly of two kinds in plants that is chlorophyll A which is bluish green in color and chlorophyll B which is yellowish green in color. There are 250 to 400 pigment molecules that are grouped to form a unit and this unit you are calling it as light harvesting complex or photosynthetic unit in each granum okay many photosynthetic units or light harvesting complexes function together in chloroplasts of green plants to perform the process of photosynthesis now let us see the events that occur during the photosynthesis process the events that occur during photosynthesis are 1 conversion of light energy to chemical energy 2 splitting of water molecule and 3 reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates the first two events occur in the presence of light that is during the photochemical or light dependent phase whereas the last that is the third event occurs in the absence or presence of light that means this third event may occur any time either in the presence of light or in the absence of light but light is not necessary for the reactions to take place here okay so this phase that is biosynthetic or light independent phase does not require light so it it can take place anytime either daytime or night time okay children with this we have completed the structure of chloroplast in the next video we will see the mechanism of photosynthesis that is light dependent phase and light independent phase for more videos please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications please like and share this video and write your comments below in the comment box thank you